right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And Lord willing, hope to edify those of the hope for elect. I was just watching a video here from um, the call, uh, what's the channel? A, uh, how I go? A call from an uprising, if I'm saying it right, from the channel. And, uh, you know, he's always uh, putting up um, news current, currently, oh, oh. collectively, you know, for what's going on around the world, all right, for some things you haven't missed, all right? And I was watching it, and um, I just want to play a little bit of part of his video, all right, because... You know, all hell is gonna break loose. You know, I'ma title this. Uh, I'ma title uh, this 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 uh, video. All hell is gonna break loose. All right, something around those lines. And I want to play uh, from what he was saying and the news clippings that he put together. You know, to show you that that you know, hey, they, they, hey, it looked like they about to be. You know, they about to uh, go ahead and campaign that Karagma, man. All right, that karagma, because that's the goal. The reset is for the karagma. All right, the new way of living, you know, the new form of currency, which is digital currency. All right. So let me see if I can um, stop it at a good pit, a good uh, part. All right, let's see. People are losing their jobs because they're not getting jabs, right? And then they can blame it on the people who didn't refuse to get the jab for destroying the economy, which will come next. People like me, people like you. But what this means here, and I'm going to show you this now, this clip. Listen to this stuff about the debt ceiling and how they're, Everyone they're subtly warning you. Oh, man, this is going to smash the dollar. Yeah, it is going to smash the dollar. dire consequences to the U.S. economy. Uh, still, Congress is unable to come to an agreement to ensure the government can pay its debt. Our Washington correspondent, Alexandra Lamone, joining us live right now from Washington with the latest on this very touchy topic. Alexandra, good morning. Hi there, good morning. Well, last night, House Democrats passed a bill that would both avoid a government shutdown and raise the debt ceiling. And while Senate Republicans say they support both of those goals, they plan to oppose this bill. Nothing would be more irresponsible at this critical moment than messing with the full faith and credit of the United States. As the economy recovers from the impact of the pandemic, Democrats like Senator Mark Warner say if the government doesn't raise the debt ceiling and pay its loans, the cost will be huge. If interest rates go up due to a default by only 1%, that adds an additional $200 billion a year minimum on interest costs. Democratic Senate leader Chuck Schumer said not raising the debt limit is like playing with fire. It could stop payments to Social Security recipients. It could stop payments to veterans. It could raise interest rates, making a mortgage, a car loan more expensive. America must never default. We never have. And we never will. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell agrees the consequences of defaulting on U.S. loans would be dire. But Senator Mitt Romney explains why Senate Republicans still refuse to help raise the debt ceiling. That's not something we're going to do. If they're going to spend all the money on their own, then they're going to pay for it on their own. Republicans oppose plans by Democrats to spend trillions in the coming years on measures like universal preschool, community college, child care subsidies and green energy. But Democrats say raising the debt limit is necessary to pay for spending the country already did to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. Now, some economists warn that if the U.S. defaults on loans for an extended period of time, it could send the economy into a recession and cause the unemployment rate to spike. Still, Republicans say Democrats are going to have to raise the debt limit alone through reconciliation. Reporting live in Washington, Alexandra Limon. But that is exactly what they want. They're not trying to save the economy. The left and the right, oh, the left is trying to, you know, the left is clueless. And that's the narrative they want you to think. The left and the right are working together to destroy the economy, to build back the new world order. That's pretty much what it is, to build it. It is here, it is in place. But one of the last dominoes to fall is the currency. The digital currency. Now, you'll subtly see things like this commercial I'm going to show you, 
where they make the dollar and they make cash and change look like such a drag and such a stress. And they move to, oh, we'll do it on your phone. And eventually that's inside of you. That's the last step. But look at this commercial here. And, and you know, you see the undertoning mind control, right? digitized or digital you know is, is quicker all right and this is the nwo all right we, we always told you all right the gradualism and conditioning see guys like this guy you know he may watch brothers and probably see what's going on and he has this twist on the bible but um you know we're living in bible prophecy and you can tell that he sees it you know he knows that the end goal is that it's going to be that karagma all right so what i want to do is uh, just grab a few precepts that come to my mind um, off the, off the you know, what comes to my mind right off the back, all right? You know, so get ready. Everything going, hey, eventually things going to, uh, hey, this thing going, it's going to break, man, all right? Um, let's go into the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. All right. And that devil is a man. Okay. And that's starting with these elites. These international banking families. All right. And they're going to use their teeth, which is their military, their might, to cause this great trouble upon you. All right. To, to have great wrath. It says that he knoweth that he have but a short time Because these elites know they only have a window You know, there's a time that they're set on You know, this is how they're able to The to, to, to time they own doomsday, you know And the Lord, hey, the Lord probably, you know Hey, I don't know, but these devils know You know, they have a short time Alright, the scriptures are on point, okay um, Let's go into this real quick This is the book of Revelations chapter 3 all right verse 10 you know we're gonna stay with the basic scriptures all right because you know this truth ain't deep man you know it, it can be all right but with the Lord open your understanding you know these scriptures are a song they just keep coming back out because the the time and place under this uh, under the heavens the season and purpose that the Lord is gonna uh, fulfill these prophecies these prophecies is coming out all right this word is gonna come out the prophecy is going to come to pass and the word is going to come out. All right. So this is Revelations 3 and 10, you know, because it looks like, you know, we already, you know, know that possibly a hey, look economy crash, you know, hyperinflation. You know, they're talking about the, the money, they're burning the dollar bill. You see in pictures of that, you see in commercials, they want to get rid of the carnal, um, the tangible, excuse me, the tangible uh, uh, money that you can have, you know. Well, that's the Federal Reserve note, you know. Obviously, that's not true money. True money is gold and silver, but they give you a note, all right, uh, uh, you know, the bill. And then now from there, it went to the credit card, all right. Now, because of the credit card, you know, it's still, it's still considered tangible, something to hold. You know, now they want you to have it uh, digitized, you know, use your phone, you know. Phone is better, all right. And guess what? What's going to be even more better in their eyes is that you take that, you know, that karagma man all right so it says revelations 3 and 10 because thou has kept the word of my patience i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation you know so the days are going by and we're getting closer and closer to the hour of temptation it says which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth all right and also in the video 
I don't know if it, if it played already or you probably got to go watch the video yourself, but he was making mention on how, you know, it's, it's set up that, you know, all these countries are going to reset at the same time, you know, all these countries are going to reset at the same time to basically uh, do the, the agenda, which is the, the, the great reset, you know, going back to the economic form with, uh, you know, the spokesman, the book, book writer, Kyle Slops, all right? which they, they they boldly tell you, you know, that they're gonna do this reset, you know, and that things are gonna change. They want us to be transhuman. They wanna read our minds and thoughts. They wanna track us, all right? All you have to do is go into the fourth industrial revolution, all right? Go into that, research it. Hey, it should take you to a bunch of videos, man, where they tell you boldly. So, you know, hey, we gotta stay prayed up, you know, and be ready, all right? It ain't about getting ready, it's staying ready, man. You know, and it starts with our mind and our faith with the Lord, man. So continue to put those prayers up, all right, and pray for the Lord's mercy. So let's read the scripture again, Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thou crown. Now that crown is physical, but is also spirit. Is also um, let me say something spiritual because it's, it's, it represents our salvation. All right, because phys physically, the men of the Lord, the elect, are gonna receive crowns from Yahweh Shai, but we haven't received those crowns yet. So we don't want uh, the scriptures say, um, "Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown," meaning. And representation no man take our salvation man all right basically turn us away from receiving salvation which which is mercy from Yahweh shot you know being of the Lord's elect all right from the chosen from the very beginning the first fruits verse 12 him that overcome will I make a pillar and a temple of my power and he shall go no more out and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my power which is new jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my power and i will write upon him my new name all right so it's all about overcoming you know so you know like i said this clip here had me inspired to do this quick video you know if you want go check it out uh a call for an uprising channel all right and uh he said a few things in here and he put news clippings together to show you what time it is man all right so measure thou the time diligently in self you know and when thou seest parts of the signs past then thou shalt know it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made all right so lord willing i hope you're edified all right i want to give all praises to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well salutations to the lord's elect shalom